Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Riz. And today, again, I have my heater on because my feet are always cold. So please don't mind the sound. But today I am doing a very last minute very glam Thanksgiving makeup tutorial for you guys so you can wear it to the couch girl because we ain't going nowhere okay I know I'm not you know what I probably will recreate this look on Thanksgiving actually because it is just so freaking pretty like I am so obsessed I know it looks a little intimidating, especially if you are a beginner and I do have a bunch of subscribers and supporters who are beginners in makeup, but don't be alarmed, girl, I got you. It's not as hard as it looks, okay? I got you. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed and you're not getting my notifications, make sure you hit that little gray bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every single time I upload. I am still trying to reach my 100k goal and probably by the time this video goes up I'll be at 90,000 subscribers you guys like what that's insane I'm still trying to reach my 100k goal by January 1st so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not a part of the family already and let's just go ahead and get started I have another Juvia's Place palette to show you guys and I plan to collect every single Juvia's Place palette that there is because number one they're absolutely gorgeous the eyeshadows blend beautifully and they're very beginner and budget friendly I paid $20 for this one at Sephora not Sephora, Jesus, Ulta. I paid $20 for this at Ulta. This is the Saharan or Saharan palette. This is what it looks like, you guys. Look how stunning. Like, are you kidding me? Look at this. Ugh, it's just, oh, this color right here. I think it's called Wadabi, Wadabi, something like that, child. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> this is the swatch. This is what it looks like. I think I'm gonna be using this one because I like it's literally calling my name it's really just a true yellow almost green type of gold it is gorgeous and I think I'm gonna do a halo eye now don't don't get scared okay girl especially if you're a beginner trust me I got you so the first shade that we're gonna use as our transition shade is this shade right here it's called Jamila and we're just gonna see how this blends oh my god you guys i literally i literally just tapped my brush in it like twice i promise this color and y'all know how i feel about my burnt oranges okay oh my god great color that is a great color so i want a little bit of a darker brown in my crease and in the sahara palette there aren't any i'm looking at this one right here it's called katsina i believe that's how you pronounce it but this one is a little bit too light for my specific skin tone so i'm gonna go into my masquerade palette and this is still by juvius this is what it looks like i used this in my last tutorial and i'm gonna use this shade right here called fulani this one right here so whatever dark brown shade that you have will do I'm just gonna blend this into my crease a little bit just to give me a little bit more depth see it's not too much to the point where it's like overpowering the orange transition shade now I'm gonna take a little bit of my setting powder on my morphe sponge and kind of clean up these edges So now we're gonna do our halo part. I'm gonna go into the shade Chad, which is right here. It's just literally a black eyeshadow. And I'm gonna start on the outer corner. We're doing a halo. So this is, I think, a MAC 224 brush. It's very, it's kind of like a tiny um, blending brush because I've had this one for the longest of time and the bristles kind of fill out so it's a little bit more pointy. I'm just gonna start by building this color up on the inner and the outer corner so I'm not adding too much because I want to make sure that I build the color up because if I put too much right now it's gonna be kind of hard to blend out so just make sure you um, add a little bit first and then kind of like blend your way up and then what do I always say girl tiny circle motions is the best way to blend but we don't want to go too high we just literally want to stay a little bit above the crease area now I'm gonna do the same thing when it comes to the inner corner just add a little bit so I add a little bit 
and blend it up in tiny circle motions. And what I like to do is kind of just stamp it at first, place it, place the color, and then start blending it up. Now I'm gonna take this Katsina shade right here and I'm just gonna blend around those harsh lines. And this is really gonna make everything look super smooth and airbrushed. <gasps> Time for the fun part. Now I'm gonna go into Wadabi, which is this gorgeous shade right here. I'm gonna pick it up with my finger since it is a shimmer and I'm literally going to place this in the very center of my lid. Do you guys see what's happening right now? Like, are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so now I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna spritz it with some Fix Plus Spray. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that Wadabi shade. Now I'm gonna go just to cut that crease a tiny bit, just in the center. I don't know why, but I'm wanting to take this shade Iman, which is right here. This is kind of like a, a very frosty white shade. It's actually almost blue, but this is what it looks like right here. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that one or Senegal, which is this one right here. This is what it looks like. It's just really pretty. I think I'm gonna do Senegal. So I'm gonna use my flat shader brush. This is the MAC 242 brush, by the way. And I am literally just going to place this in the very, very center. So I'm gonna take it and drag it down just like this. And it's a, this is just gonna give me a pop of gold. All right, now I'm gonna take some more of that black and kind of build it up a little bit more. Now I'm going to connect the inner and the outer corner by just doing windshield wiper motions like this, but I'm being very, very careful, okay? So place, stamp, 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 and connect it by doing windshield wipers. Now I'm gonna take the blending brush again and then gently go over the harsh edges. And then that is the eyeshadow look, girl. Look at that, like, mm, 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 mm. It looks so good. I'm gonna apply my false lashes and my eyeliner in my waterline off camera because you guys know how I feel about that. I literally don't know how, like I can't do it on camera for whatever reason. But these are the lashes that I'm gonna use. I, oh, shoot, I don't remember the name brand of these, but they're just very fluffy kind of spiked lashes. They are a bit dramatic, but obviously we're doing a dramatic eye here. So I'm gonna apply these and I'll be right back. Mm, 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 mm. I am loving how this is looking. Okay, so I used my NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a turn on waterproof eyeliner, yikes. I'm liking how this is looking without smoking out the bottom lash line. It just looks really clean and neat and I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. So I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Fix Powder to dust away this excess powder, especially underneath my eyes. Now I'm gonna use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. I don't know what shade this is in because I can't pronounce it, but this is what it looks like. It's just a gorgeous kinda peachy, orangey shade and it's gorgeous on brown skin. And I'm just gonna take some of this and apply it cause this is not too it's not too pigmented to where like if you tap once it'll you know like be too much is really subtle which is what i like but do you see how it kind of just brings a little bit more color to your face now i'm going to use my beloved laura mercier translucent loose setting powder glow in the shade medium deep i'm gonna pick what's up on the cap and with my brush i'm gonna swirl it around knock off the excess and literally just highlight the highest points of my cheeks. This powder is absolutely stunning. Oh, I just gawk every time I use it. Now I'm gonna go back into my Saharan palette and I'm gonna use that same Senegal shade right here. And I'm gonna put this in my inner 
corner just for some highlight there. Now I'm gonna use my Buxom Lash Mascara to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. <laughs> I'm gonna do a nude lip and keep it pretty neutral. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. Of course, what's new? Now I'm gonna use this NYX Extra Creamy Lipstick in the shade Summer Love. It's a really pretty kind of like taupey nude shade. Now I'm going to use my L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Gloss in the shade Soft Nude, also not new. Now I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to set everything. Alright you guys, that completes this makeup tutorial. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your Thanksgiving plans are and if you plan to wear makeup to the couch, girl, because we ain't going to be doing nothing else but sitting on that dang couch, okay? <laughs> I also wanted to remind you guys that all of the products that I used in this video will be linked down below well maybe not linked but they will definitely be in the description box down below so make sure you check that i hope and pray that you guys have a lovely a blessed a prosperous thanksgiving holiday thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Mwah! bye